<laughs> what up YouTube, it's your boy Rob, aka Fresh Sense, coming at you again with another Let's Play. This time we're continuing on with Splatoon 2, and I'm your buffoon. I'm going to switch my hats to, actually, this one over here that I have. Whoop, not MAGA, it's the Flash. Alright, changing the Flash. Alright. <clears throat> and so... <laughs> Um, I believe we just finished a level. Uh, I don't want to switch my weapons. Wait, maybe I do. Yeah, I don't want this. I don't want that. Uh, let's go with the dualies. All right, so now we're looking for the last level. I think I found it too. It's like up. Is it over there? No, 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 no. It's over here. Yes. I think I see it. So, oh, I know what I gotta do. All right, so it's like this, probably. All right. Whoo, got him. The floating garden chasing heartache. It's a Sheldon request. So I get a new weapon, I think. So I guess it didn't really matter what I picked. Um, how are you guys? It's the same day, I think. I could really use some more data on this weapon. Can you use it for a bit? Oh yeah, hero doolies. I would love to use a dualies. <laughs> pew pew! Alright, let's go. Got him. Alright. It's looking like I might finish the boss today. Um, how are you guys? I know it's the same day. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Um, house is all cleaned up. After this weekend, it took a long time to just refresh the space. House is clean. Uh, dog is locked up because she wet the floor just now. Not cool. Uh, not expected. She's mostly house trained. Um, well, I say she's house trained, not house broken. Um, she's done a good job, but you know what? This past week has been pretty crazy for me, so. She made a she made mistakes, and that's that's okay. We're all we're all allowed to make mistakes, but do better. Ooh. Um. All right, let's just go. Yeah. Okay. That's what I figured might happen. All right. So I actually want to continue telling you guys the rest of my Saturday. So after a crazy girl tried to kiss me. One thing I may not have included in this story. Actually, let me just turn on my music. It's a little bit. Turn on the sound a little bit. It's pretty loud. All right. After a crazy girl tried to kiss me, um, I don't think I mentioned that when I was hanging out with Black Girl. Not her name. Just want. I don't want to say their name. It's fine. But what I uh, when when the girl wanted to get her feet wet because she was hot um she mentioned another juneteenth party going on so like right as that party was about to end unbeknownst to me um the other party was starting so um she told me the person that created the party was part of the oh what's that all oh, right i forgot i could do that with the release the person that was throwing the party oh i wonder if i can like say whatever it doesn't really matter now was part of their, uh, their, uh, kickball team or something like that? Like, apparently they were on, like, a real, uh, not professional kickball team, but, like, it was a, a league or whatever. Alright, we're doing this, huh? Oh, come on. So, funnily enough, I had, like, add the person on Facebook already. Because I had, like, went through a phase where... Where I wanted to get oh sniz that nice nice shot. I wanted to get a thousand friends, so I was like adding everybody that I just saw before in life. Uh, turns out that was one of the person I added, so I hit them up asking if I could come to the party. They're like, yeah, of course you can, dude, just come. So after that party went awry, oh, I do have a key. After that party failed, uh, I went home, I asked them. If I should bring anything to the party, they're like, yeah, bring some juice. So like, what kind of juice? They were like, I was like, what kind of juice? You want cranberry juice, pineapple juice, uh, orange juice? What kind of juice are you talking about? They're like, bring them all. I was like, word, okay. So I went to the store, 
For, well, actually, I biked home, which was like a two-hour bike ride, or an hour and a half bike ride, I don't remember. Um, took a bit of like a rest, because like, it was just, it was a long day, I felt like. Um, and then, I went to the store to get the juice and headed straight to the party, which was really nearby, which was, you know, wasn't that bad to do. Alright, we're doing this, huh? Alright. So I gave you the party, and immediately compared to the other party, like, way better. The vibe was better, music was good. The music was already playing when I got there, which was, like, great. Um, other party wasn't that way. I had to wait for, like, the best friend of the birthday girl to get there for the music to actually start, because they had, like, the speaker. Um, you know, not much of a problem. Whatever. Uh, music was playing, I dropped off the juice, and... The first thing, as soon as I pull up, is black girl, or I, I keep saying girl, but this person's a um, trans dude. So like they appear as a, as a woman, like they physically look like a woman, uh, but they're actually a guy. And it's hard for me to remember that as I'm playing a game. <laughs> but this, the trans, uh, okay, I'll just, I'll just give him an initial uh, Q. Q was on the porch. Uh, having a cigarette break with their friend, who I later learned their name was, uh, let's give her a fake name, Ashley, I like that name. So, it was cool, cause like, um, as soon as I got up, they were like, oh, there was, there was the dude I was just talking about, tell him about the party you were just at, and the crazy girl, and everything that happened, and so I did, as I was like locking up my bike, cause I don't have a car. And they just like, yeah, it was like a good introduction for like, a good change of pace too. Cause it was like, yeah, we both had this crazy party. Chick was 100% crazy. Made me uncomfortable, but I'm glad I'm here now. Uh, get into the party, like I said, music's already playing. First thing they have that I see is free shea butter. And I don't know if you know this, if anyone knows this, but like to find a natural shea butter, like not like shea butter lotion that's like usually not so much shea butter, but like actual solid shea butter, that's hard. Like it's you gotta find like a natural shop, and those aren't in high abundance where I'm at. So like they had like buckets of just sh free shea butter. I'm just like, oh my god, this this is a June tea celebration. This is a change of pace. They had like they had cornhole. They had like bolas, and if you know what bolas are, think Batman. How he like with those like, two balls. The thing that's like a ball and a string. They had that as like a game. And I seen the kids at my job play that. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. Actually, I never got to try it either way. Like, I saw it, but I never really knew. Uh, I never really knew. I never really actually wanted to play with me, so. I didn't get to play bolas. But, like, there was everything that I could want. So, like, I put my juice down that I bought. Um, you know, just got some food. Uh, no, actually, yeah, I got some food, um, just as, like, the vegan, or, what's it called, uh, Beyond Meat Burgers, oh my goodness, it's just as they were coming off of the grill, so that was, it's nice, I had, like, a nice little meal, and it was different, because, like, like I said, I wasn't gonna eat the other party, because I didn't bring anything, and I didn't feel right eating if I didn't bring anything, that's, like, kind of selfish, oh no! Alright, um, but in this case, because I brought some of the juice, I felt totally comfortable, like, eating some of the food that I had already put in, put into the meal, you know? Which I think is, like, a common thing at, like, African-American cookouts. Like, I'm saying African-American as if, like, it's more PC, but, like, oh, jeez. Should I go the other way now? Yeah, I guess I will. Um, and then, like, the set... Uh, oh. Um, Q's friend, Ashley, came up and just started talking to me again, which, the more I talked to her, more I'm like, oh, there's like a little bit of chemistry here. At the very least, she's interested in me. Um, and like, as I was talking to her, another girl comes up to me and starts talking to me. Her name was Chris. And I'm like, yo, this is like, this is, this is really cool. Like, Sarah was really cute. Chris is also really cute usually like put together and it was just like a good old time um 
uh, like, what's it called, the Cupid Shuffle came on, and so, first the Electric Slide came on, and we did that, and I was terrible at it, um, and then the Cupid Shuffle came on, oh wait, no, 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 I need to go back, oh, I wanna go back, oh, I already hit the checkpoint, that key, I, I bet that key goes to something, oh, it's so sad that I did that, alright, well, whatever. Ah, uh, what does it unlock? All right, whatever. And so that happened. We did the Cupid Shuffle really poorly. Uh, did all the dances really poorly. There was free alcohol, which is dope because I'm old enough to drink, and so I drank a little bit. Um, and I just it was a really good time. Later on the night, they had spades, and I don't know if you know what spades are, people, but spades are amazing. In fact, I remember like recently talking to my mom, like, "Hey, next time we get together, we got to play spades," because like. It's just, it's so fun. It's, it's one of those games you can, it's like you play competitive, you can trash talk, it's really fun. If you've never played, you've got to play. Um, well, you don't have to, but you should. It's definitely one of those black, uh, black games that you would, oh wait, maybe this is where the key goes to. Nope, not where the key goes to. Oh, you got me. Alright. So then, like, it was cool because like later on the night I ended up getting uh, Ashley's number. Uh, she was like, "I got a boyfriend." I'm like, well, "You're not married though." Just just from listening to some of the stuff that I've listened, I'm not I'm not even normally like that. I'm normally like I'm really respectful to people's relationships, and I, I probably should have just said what I just said. But that's what happened. She 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 gave me her number, and it was just it was just a great time. Um, I remember like helping to clean up at the end of the night and like get a chance to talk to Sarah who also helped to clean up and we were just it was just great it was just good vibes for, for Juneteenth and I haven't been in a party like that in quite some time because there's just not many like people of color where I'm at uh, and so it just it, it's just things are different things just don't feel I see what's happening So yeah, that was like how my Juneteenth ended. I ended up like <laughs> spending the rest of the night like washing dishes after the spades tournament, and it just was good. It's one of those parts where you didn't want to leave, or you wanted to, you wanted to leave, but you also wanted to leave better than what you came. So like you wanted to make sure the people who were <laughs> people who were throwing the party were like in a well-off position, so it's like just so there wasn't a hard time for them to like wake up the next day or whatever and be like, oh, I'm not going to do this. I helped them put their food away. It was great. It was great. Uh, and so, like, before the night's end, um, Q had hit me up asking me if I wanted to um, hang out with them the next day. And initially I thought that they wanted me to hang out uh, with their friend, because, you know, like I just said, uh, their friend isn't single. And I've never been in a situation where I like, you know, um, would be the other guy. So I didn't know what to think. Again, I know uh, I'm not. I, I I should feel a way for being the. Oh, there we go. Pirate CR. Okay, let's just do that. Yeah, I got him. There we go. Oh, look at this. Alright. Alright, go up that, open that. Wait a second. Nice. So I definitely missed the sticker back there when I got the key. I just didn't get it. Alright, let's just... Well, maybe not. No, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, no, I think I, think I got everything up there, too. So yeah, um, didn't know the, like the really the idea of of hanging out with this person, um, but I figure even if the girl uh, Ashley that I was into wasn't gonna be at the hangout, it would be useful to get to know the friend because they're they're friends, you know. Um, and so in theory, you want to be friends, or you want to make good with the floating garden, chasing heartache.
13, 14. Um, in my in my own head, I feel like making friends with the 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 friend of the girl you're interested in is totally a good thing because they kind of get to know you a little more. So like the next day, um, I bike out another two hours to go to where the friend lives to hang out with them. Um, so they wanted to go swimming, and I'm not like. I like to swim, but I'm not really, like really big on swimming, like in the sense of like I'm not breaking my neck to go swimming, you know. I am totally fine not swimming. Wait, what? Am I not gonna Wow, it isn't okay. So, I bike two hours to go hang out with this friend to go swimming, and no. Got it. <laughs> Took so many shots. Um, first of all, when I get to the place, oh, I had to read the title. When I get to the place, it turns out it's not the place that they wanted me to meet them at. It's like a place close by to that place. It's like called the Green River, but like I went to a green. I could really use some home. Oh, no, no, that's here with Julius. Lips for days. The Octo Stomp returns. Oh no. All right, there we go. So where I, where I go, isn't where I was supposed to go. Oh no, why is that fish? Uh, uh, one, two, three, first things for, oh, I'm back. Octo stomp. Here we go. Oh, look at those cute little legs. Oh, no, no, sir. Oh, get the legs, get the legs. What's happening? What's happening? What? What's happening? I can't. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. And up, up, up. Got him, got him. Oh no. Okay, okay. Whoa, okay. Okay, I probably gotta hit that hit that front side. And I brought this sweet new coat, Neo Octostomp. Sweet. Oh no. Okay. All right. Uh Oh no. Oh, almost got me. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, no. All right. Oh, got me. Uh, so I, I go to hang out with a friend, and they wanted to go like further away from where I went. So first of all, when I told them, "Hey, look, I'm here," 
They're like, oh, I'm downtown eating. I'm like, okay, this is already annoying. I like was giving them updates where I was at. Oh no. So like they knew when I was coming, which is like the frustrating part. You would think. Um, anyway, they wait like 45 minutes for them to come get me. Um, I let them know, hey listen, my bike's here, so no matter what we do, as long as I end up back here, it's I'm down for whatever. So we go to the where they wanted to go swim at. Got him. Got him! Part two, and here we go. So, compared to from where I was at, another coat. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is dangerous. Final checkpoint. Woo! Oh my god. Oh snap, that hurt. Woo, no thank you. No thank you. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna slow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, so compared from where I was at, from where they dropped me off at, where they wanted to hang out at, didn't like it better. The where, we, where I started off at was like a more public place. And where they went was like a little more discreet, honestly, which is fine. Oh, I'm, as, a, as a guy who's like a little shy at times. Discreet isn't the worst thing. So, already disappointed because. Oh my god. Yeah, totally fine with discreet. <laughs> nice. Got him. Got him. It's over. It's over. It's over. Get out of here. Where we went wasn't great. Um, when I biked up there, I brought some stuff for us to drink. And so I just made a point to be like, hey. Oh, yeah. Is there only the that? Okay. Hello, Zapfish baby. Lit for days, Octo stop returns. So, I'm at a point to say, help me drink all these things. Agent 4, I want to thank you again for all you've done so far. I think it's time I told you about my other purpose in asking you for help. When we met, I told you I was searching for a great zapfish, but I'm afraid that's not the whole story. You see, even more than the great zapfish, I want to find my cousin Callie. She vanished on the same day as the great zapfish. Wait, you already knew? Phew, cool. So anyway, I'm Agent 2 of the new squad, Squid, Squid Beak Splatoon, and Callie is Agent 1. There's Agent 3 who's currently out with our grandpa, Captain Cuttlefish. They won't be back for a while. I was supposed to be protecting Ingopolis while Captain was away, but then Callie, the great Zapfish, sorry I didn't tell you sooner, we'd be totally sunk without you, Agent 4. 
I know we'll find Cal if we keep looking. I think we can see this thing through. Leah, no. Leave now. Huh? Who's there? If you get in our way, Agent 4 will mess you up. Nice. Free anchovy. Huh? Aw, oh, yeah! Let's go check it out. Callie on the Great Zapper is somehow, somewhere up ahead, Agent 4. Let's check it out. So, where I go is marginally worse than where I was at, because the rocks is rocks. Not as much sand as where I was at before. And so, they make a point of switching to their bikini, which is like, don't want to see that. Um, alright. Oh, Secret bowling alley, rolling through the ink. Let's go. And so we're just talking, chatting it up. We're just drinking the beers. Not... Well, I, okay. Yeah, drinking the drinking the beers. They're not like super alcoholic, so they're not getting this drunk. It's whatever. I can we use some data on this weapon? Could use it for a bit. Hero shot. Secret bowling alley. Yeah, I definitely can. All right, interesting. The aqua ballers avoid them at all costs. All right, wait. So, I make a point to be like, hey, can you help me finish these? I don't want to carry these back. They're quite heavy. I have to put the bike two hours away. They're like, yeah, sure. And so, she got there so late that it became dark in like a half hour. And so, I had to be there for a little bit. The question was like, hey, well, what do you want to do now? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. This is your area. What do you want to do? They were like, hey, I got a roof. And I'm like, okay, word. I like roofs. Holy heck. Crushed. All right. <sighs> so we go to the roof. It's pretty cool because, like, it's actually the top of like a commercial area. Um. So. Um. Thank God. Does it help to go up there anyway? No, alright. Just double check. Alright, yeah, no. So, so, you know, we spent a good amount of time just chatting, just like shooting, shooting, this, shooting this stuff. Learning more about them. Just like, oh, this person's pretty cool. Um, eventually, they pull out their phone, and to me, if you're hanging out with somebody and you pull out your phone, the other person is now free to pull out their phone whenever they want. So I immediately pull out my phone and contact the friend that I was hoping to see. Um, and, I, and I say something discreet like, hey, I met the other day, um, I heard you knew this person. And just trying to be, just trying to break the ice, trying to be discreet. Because uh, I'm not sure how to say this to somebody who has, you know, a significant other. And I guess this is kind of a lesson of like, hey, just don't mess with people who have significant others. Because like... You just never know what's, 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 how to even, just keep their situation clean. Or, like, not messy. Because, like, although it's kind of like, uh, if they're not, like, actually committed to each other, I don't see a much of a problem with, like, shooting your shot, especially if they're receptive to it. But at the same time, you gotta remember one thing, like, well, a couple of things. One, you don't know how, like, maybe their significant other uses their phone a lot. But then also, like, even if you guys did get together, just remember that they weren't that faithful to the person that they were with before you. you can't expect them to be faithful to you either. All right, how do I how do I deal with this? All right, I guess I gotta like. Okay, what do I do this? Nice. All right, easier. 
can't go that way. All right, let's just go by. So we go to the roof. I text girl Mitchison in. Just let her know it was me. Try to be discreet. Um, she Im she immediately texts the person I'm hanging out with, which to me is super embarrassing. So as a result, I and they have like a long conversation, and they make a plan to meet up just for whatever reason, right? There's a reason, but I don't really want to get into it right now. So, they make a plan to meet up, and at this point, I'm like, oop, super embarrassed. And so, I gotta keep going, gotta keep going. I break out my hard alcohol. Specifically, I had like a flask of like, I think it was rum. So, I break it out just to kind of calm my nerves. And then, me and, me and Q are just talking. And the conversation gets like, first of all, they're like, oh, you didn't tell me you had whiskey. You should have, I mean, you, should, you didn't tell me you had rum, which is my favorite kind of alcohol. You should have told me I would have been drinking this earlier if you had some. It's like, uh, it wasn't really for you. It was for me for whenever I wanted to get it. But okay, you can have some. So I take like four or five shots. I take like one or two. And so, oh, sniff that. Oh, didn't see that coming. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that was Octo. Oh, got him. Whoo, and it's undefeated, baby. So as I'm drinking, they make a comment like, I'm gonna take advantage of you. And I'm like, no, because I'm, exper I'm an experienced drinker. I never get so drunk where I can't function. And even if I was, I'm never so drunk where somebody can quote unquote take advantage of me. So like that's definitely not just gonna, it's just not gonna happen. Oh, this is one of those machines. No weak spot. Nice. Okay, I see, I see. Alright, what up? Can I... So once I get one of them in motion, I should be good. Get this one. Right, let's go. Final checkpoint already. Um. So. Anyways, after they make that comment. We continue talking and we, we get to like talking about like my old employment and if you guys don't know I used to work residential work, got really invested, um, it was just an emotional experience because like I got fired for like snapping on, on one of my, oh wait hold on a second, I go that way, oh this is like a, okay I see, I see, alright, get it, I get it. Oh my gosh. How? Just how? What? No! 
how? I don't see how. Huh. I guess I would need to blow it up. Okay. Oh, okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, I didn't notice that. So if I go up there... That doesn't really help me that much. No, it doesn't really. Alright. Let's get that. So, okay, they're the plan to meet up with the girl to get... You know, just... just to exchange some some goods. Or whatever. Ah. Few seconds. Few seconds. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, so close. So I need to get it, like. Got it. Ooh, just barely got it. Uh, so. Nice, got the map. Where'd the anchovy at? Maybe it's up there. Okay. So now that goes. So, I get more stressed out based off of the conversation. And, um,. It's time to go meet up with the girl, uh, Ashley. So, oh, I see. And so, oh my. So we, we meet up with Ashley. Oh, and I make sure to give Ashley some of the beers that I honestly got, oh, for Ashley. Cause I knew Ashley made a point to say that they enjoy those beers. And so we pick up whatever we had to pick up and I give beers in exchange. I'm like, oh, you're even. So then we get back to, to, to Q's place and I immediately go like, oh, hey, I gotta get home. I have a two-hour bike ride and I have to get my dog. And they're like, now hiring A collectors. No experience required. All ages and backgrounds welcome. A fun way to make some quick chi. Grab a friend and join up together. So like, I say what I say. They're like, what do you want to do? And I'm just like, I don't know. What do you want to do? And they like lay on their bed and like spread out to be like, huh. And I'm like, whoa. And they're like, what? I'm like, okay, this is what I just saw. And they're like, no, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so awkward. Um, I'm gonna use the bathroom. And at that point, I'm like, I'm out. Cause it seems like this person wants me to lay with them, as they say in like old school times. And I'm just not into it. And I grab whatever we picked up. I got a little bit of it, not even all. I just grab it. And I ditch and I leave some beers. And that was the end of that day. Cause it was really weird. Um,. Yeah, so that's that's how my Juneteenth went. Hopefully yours was good. Um, I'm going to stop here. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Um, you've been great. If you like this, like it, subscribe, do what you want. Until next time, stay fresh, people. <laughs>